Welcome, folks, to another exciting college football matchup. And we've got an intriguing neutral setting for this battle here today. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history. But right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see, the number 17 team in the country, the Clemson Tigers, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreet. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. from near the goal line, breaking through defenders. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. From Clemson's offense, drives out there to open this game. Here we go, Kirk. All the emotion in this stadium. Which side is going to handle that better today? Chris, we had a chance to visit both these teams. And one of the things that we saw, the clock's ticking down all year for this game, this day. Now they get their chance. Fresh set it down to the offense. First down. Another great pickup on the ground here by a Clemson running back. And you know, if you're going to be a running back for Clemson, you have to be able to not just do that, but also you got to be able to catch the ball in the backfield because they're dangerous in the passing game as well. It's a fumble. And the defense jumps on the football. Hey, Chris, we can hear the contact from that hit all the way up here in the booth. So, hey, it's easy to blame the ball carrier. But I don't know if anybody could have been able to hold on to the ball after that hit. What's the call here? The drive begins with excellent field position. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Let's it go quickly. Looks downfield, he connects with a wide open wide receiver. They could not stop him, he's in. Touchdown, Georgia. Well, perfectly thrown football here, and this quarterback's got to be fired up. It's his first passing touchdown in the season. Here's the first of hopefully many more for this young man. And they get set now to try the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7 0 to open score. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Returner looking to make a play here. And they've got the returner corral. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. Last possession, they fumbled it away and it set up a touchdown drive. Can they bounce back from that right away? He shreds the tackle. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense take. Are they going to run? Maybe play action? Maybe throw the ball downfield? It's off the incompletion. It sets up a third down and three. Well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. And here's the fair catch by the return man. Offense, cross that onto the field, hoping to start a drive here. Looking for a gap. It's ETN. They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. The shotgun handoff here. They get him down, but the junior with an excellent run there. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Chris, a really good job here by this back to be able to find that hole and pick up the yards for his first down. And 
what George has had some good bats over the years. And this young man is living up to that tradition today. Second down after that run on the previous play. Well, Kirk, no surprise. You get these two teams on the field, and it's tight and competitive right to the finish. Well, Chris, the last time these two teams met, remember, it came down to the wire. The very final few minutes. Sure hope we get another one like that today. To throw, it's back. On the run here. Let's it go. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. The dogs will bring their punt team onto the field. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long, but when you're so far behind the chains, can you really allow this defense to dictate things and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing as we saw on this play. Looks to the left for a quick throw. He makes the grab. He tackled him at the 38. Solid game. Nice play there. Game moves the ball to the 38. Another first down. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. Touchdown, Tigers. This quarterback on fire today. Aren't you taught on defense, Kirk? Don't let him throw the football over your head. Exactly what happened there. That makes me really wonder if it was some kind of miscommunication. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I pull my defensive backs over, make sure everybody's on the same page and getting the right call. Now the try here for the extra point. And he knocks it right through. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. They'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. Breaks a tackle on the play. Makes a decent gain. Offense getting set. Second down play here. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. They'll try to run for the first down. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. And the player is down, injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout or then check him out. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. Ball we'll handed off. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Getting set. Here's second down. Looking to pass this time. Fires it to the wide out. Caught over the middle. It's Thomas. Stopped right near midfield. It'll be a first down. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And you know, being able to have a balanced attack is so important in modern college football. And Georgia does that as well as anybody. An inside give now from the shotgun. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Pulls it in. It's ETN. They bring it down, but not before he gains first down yardage. A new set of downs after that completion. Really nice job here by the quarterback. He sells it looking downfield, knowing he wants to hit his running back on the angle route. Effective play to move these chains. Handoff here from the shotgun. Makes a nice move there. Brought down, but broke the tackle to produce a solid gain there. So now it's third and short from the 30. Chance for the defense to make a play here and perhaps force a field goal attempt. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And the field goal unit coming on the field now. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. And he's got it from 49 yards out. What a powerful kick. Of course, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. 
Return starts from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? Well, they test the middle there, but get nothing. Second down after that previous play. Takes the handoff, heads to the right. The pickup is just three yards. Now it's third down and seven. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. He pulls it in for a big game. And it's good for a first down for 36. A new set of downs after that completion. Takes the handoff. It's green. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Now it's second down here. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Snags a quick throw. They bring him down quickly. A short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. To throw, it's Plubnik. And it's incomplete as he just overthrew his receiver that time. The Tigers will line up to boot it away. They're going to kick it away for the second time. And the return man decides to signal a fair catch. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Had to reluctantly settle for a field goal last time out. Really want to find the end zone here. And the tackle is made after a four-yard game. So second and six. And the tailback's got it again. Makes the catch for the defense. Breaks in the ball. And it's a short game. Third down after that running play. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. They trap him and sack him back at the 10. Man, I'm shocked this guy is trying to get outside and make a play, Chris. You know what he's all about. Sit in the pocket, make a read, and get the ball out of his hands. Here he's desperate, trying to make a play on the outside. Really not in his arsenal, as you see, and it backfires for a big loss. And the Bulldogs will send their punt team on the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the ball is away from his own end zone. Bringing it back, it's Williams. And he's going to get run out of bounds after a small pickup on the return. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. Last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Breaking free at the 35. Finally tackled at the 7. What a play. Sets up a first and goal now. Well, that's the kind of run that makes an offensive line coach very, very happy. And also, will boost the confidence of the big guys up front. And when you have a confident offensive line, you got more and more opportunity to hit big plays. That huge play sets up a great opportunity. First and goal just outside the five. Offense will keep it on the ground here. He'll try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Offense facing second in goal. Back to pass. It's Klubnik. Nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. The defense recovers the fumble. I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there. They were able to knock it loose. offense is back out on the field last time was a quick three and out and they get a drive going this time on first and ten here looking to throw the ball grab behind the line it's Humphreys and he's brought down after a big first down game it's second and short maybe an opportunity Kirk to take a shot here well, the quarterback has just too much time against this zone. There's not enough pressure to allowing him to sit back and pick apart this zone defense. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. 
Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. Like right, the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this, and the quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. Defense will make the stop and will probably be the final play of this opening quarter. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. Georgia, 10, Clemson, 7. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Send the back in motion. Looking for his big tight end. But they don't connect. It's incomplete. And it brings up fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit on the field. This will be about a 53-yard attempt. Let's see if he can get it there. He missed it. The lead stays at three after the miss. Man, I thought he hit that pretty clean. Good hold by the holder. Everything looked to be the way you like as a kicker. He just misses it, and the ball trailed on him and ends up hitting the upright. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. The last possession ended in a costly fumble in plus territory. They can't have another one of those here. Makes a quick catch. They get him down pretty quickly, but it's a solid gain in that short throw. The game makes it second and medium. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Looks like Clemson will have the first down. First down here for this offense. So you're a defensive coordinator trying to stop this offense. Your eyes are in the back. You're worried about that quarterback. He's going to run it or throw it. you got to worry about the receivers getting downfield and making big plays. And now, oh, by the way, you got a program that has great history at the running back spot. Guys like, think about it, Travis Etienne and C.J. Spiller. The backs they have here now on this roster. Boy, just so many different comp. And now the ball comes out. A disastrous play from the start. The offense falls on the fumble. Keeps possession. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks, when they decide to pull the ball down and run, they've got to protect it. He left it out away from his body exposed, and it got knocked away. He was very fortunate he had a teammate who was able to get on top of it. That sack sets up a third down play. Dropping back, it's Klubnik. He's running out of time here. Pressure coming, and they've got him again. I can't believe the amount of pressure this defense is getting on this quarterback. Sack after sack. Well, you got to think about changing things up. The snap count, the scheme, anything at all to help this offensive line. They're overmatched so far in this game. And the Tigers will line up to punt it away. Fair catch made at the 35. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. Second down play coming up. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Tackle is made, but that's good for a first down at the 47. With great patience and acceleration to be able to pick up this first down by this back from Georgia. You think of Georgia backs, you think about Herschel Walker right away, right? Sonny Michelle, Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb, no Sean Marino. I mean, the list goes on and on of great Georgia backs. Offense switches it up here, looking to throw the ball now. Or oh, throw away there, gave up on the play, but now it's going to bring up third down. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And the sack is made. That's a nice play there by the sophomore. I think that was a covered sack as much as anything. They sat back in a dime defense with six defensive backs, and none of them blitzed. They just sat back in coverage, and the defensive line eventually came up with a sack. The dogs will have to kick it away. He's on looking for a solid punt here.
And the fair catch signal for and take it. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So it's second down and long here from the 13. They go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. They get him to the ground about the 18-yard line. They're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long. Back to pass. It's Klubnik. Looking for the wide out. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. The Tigers will come to the line to crank up the tempo. Well, if I'm this defense, you get these guys to third down, you better bracket or double team some kind of coverage roll to this receiver to take him away. This guy makes another big play. This comes on offense moving quickly down the field. Man, another big time catch by a Clemson wide receiver. How long have you and I been saying that? It seems like over the years. Going back to Sammy Watkins, and DeAndre Hopkins, and Mike Williams, and Hunter Winfro, and T. Higgins, all those guys on the, the NFL having great careers. And now watching these players today in that same Clemson uniform making those big plays. He's brought down quickly. A short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. Looking to throw it again. And the defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. And he'll drop back here on third down. Grab near the sticks. It's Blaine Stewart. And the winner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. The receiver steps out just short of the goal line. And the Tigers line it up with first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Clemson. Kirk, they were backed up to start the drive, but some bold play calling, great execution, and reach the end zone. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown. But they try to add the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, so it's 14-10 now. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. Can they begin to click now? Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Third down coming up after that running play. Looking to throw. It's back. From the pocket, delivers over the middle and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. Georgia getting set with a first and ten now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he dumps it off to the tight end. And heads out of bounds after a decent gain. That completion makes it second and medium. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Gets made on the out route. He's brought down, but a solid gain moves the ball across midfield before he won. A first and ten play. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw. And that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray, and more recently Jake Fromm, and of course Stetson Bennett. There's a fastball, but it's intercepted. Look at that, he's still going. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. He didn't really seem to feel like he had anybody open. He just puts it up in the air, and the defense says, thank you, we'll take it.
And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. And it's complete downfield. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. And Kirk, that puts him over 150 yards today. He just put on a huge show in a big stage. Yeah, every time he seems to get his hands on the football, he's making big plays. They have built their offense around his playmaking and building, and it's paid off today. It's the two-minute warning of this close, competitive first half. Dropping back, it's Club Nick. Cut quickly. And they wrap him up after the completion just short of the first down mark. Crucial third down play after that completion. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Looking to set up a screen pass here. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw it on first down. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Looking to throw yet again. This time it's complete. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. Clemson now operating in the red zone. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. And it's caught! Touchdown, Tigers! Chris, that's his second touchdown of the day. He talked about getting off to a great start. He may have more in it. extra point and the lead now is 11 21 10 so the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown now they kick off and hopes the defense can get a quick stop fields it inside the five yard line returner tackle right there and that's where they'll start the drive and the bulldogs offense is back out on the field backed up this close to their end zone in the final minute let's see if they just decide to take care of the football and look toward the second half Oh, it's dropped off the tip by the defense there. It's going to bring up second down. To the air. It's back. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. The timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. And looking to throw now on first down. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. Oh, and nothing but... Nobody can bring him down. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game. And now they'll set up for the point after. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kick up to see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. First down, we're going to throw the football. Here's a screen pass to the running back. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. It's caught downfield. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Oh, that was close. Got just enough for the first down against that man-to-man -man coverage. Good awareness by the receiver to get past the sticks and move the chains. Fires it to the wideout. And he finds a wide-open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. 
That's an explosive game. They've got it, but the game all the way to the 28. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. Hudson getting set with a first and 10 now. Looking to pass. It's Klubnik. Oh, it's picked off. What a play. Short return tackle at the 21, but that's a huge takeaway for this defense. Boy, great hands by the defender to take that ball away and pretty much steal it from the intended receiver. I don't know if I'd be targeting that defender very many more times. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of a half. Chance for just a couple more plays. It's a quarterback keeper running with purpose. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? Here's the snap, looking to throw. It's a short completion of the big tight end. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. It's like the final play of the half coming up. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Makes a quick grab. In a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines. But it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working. And I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. And he'll be stopped short of the 20-yard line. Good job of the coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. First play of the second half is a handoff. He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. The game makes it second and medium. From the shotgun, handoff inside. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab down the middle. It's Bell. They get him down, but the game moves the ball up to the 36. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And, man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback, and especially on third down, get him the ball. The dogs are moving quickly down the field. And the wideout goes in motion. On first down, it's play action. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Up and set for the sixth play in this drive. Trying to find some room. It's Robinson. Breaks loose at the 40. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Touchdown. Dogs. And they go in front here in the second half. Chris, all week I wondered if this back might get loose and come up with a big play like this. The defense had their back turned, couldn't really see where he was. By the time they realized it, he just had too much speed and he's able to take it to the end zone. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The PAT puts them up three. The kickoff team on the field now is they get set to send this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. 
They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Short loss on the play sets up second and long from the 18. Play action fake, looking to throw. And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. Well, if you're going to be able to play in the SEC and be a dominant team, you have to have defensive linemen like this right here. We've seen that from Georgia over the years. They've been incredibly blessed to have defensive linemen that can hold up against the run, also have the ability to do this right here, which is pressure the quarterback and come up with those sacks. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. The pass rush closing in. Man, how do you like to be the offensive coordinator for this team right now with the offensive line coach trying to come up with any answer at all to deal with this pass rush? That's five sacks now in this game. They cannot seem to stop this pressure from this defense. The Tigers will have to kick this away. That's a rough series for the offense, and now he's on to punt it away. Gets the kick away from his own end zone. And the returner elects to fair catch it, no return. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. On that last touchdown drive, they just pounded away with the ground game. Let's see if that formula works again. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Second down after that run on the previous play. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Crucial third down play coming up. Back to throw. It's spent. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And they wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. The Bulldogs come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. Well, it's a good thing they pick up the first down here because it would have been interesting to see. They were kind of in that no man's area there. If they did not pick up the first down, would they have kicked the field goal or would they have gone for it? But here, it doesn't matter. Nice first down. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Short throw complete to the tight end. Out of bounds, but not before a big game. This offense is ripping the defensive mark today. So this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Georgia now operating in the red zone. Tight end goes in motion before the snap. Off the play fake on first down. The pocket breaking down. And it's intercepted. Beautiful timing there. Not much on the return, but the defense comes up with a takeaway. Well, it looks like somebody did a great job of preparing himself to get ready for this football game. It's his second interception in this game so far. Obviously reviewed the tape. He's locked in on his fundamentals. That's a big-time player making big-time plays. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. And he's got his man open downfield. Tackle made at the 23 as he gains some important breathing room. And that completion for, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, anytime a quarterback has a day like this, really, it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time, and now third down coming up. I mean, this defense is having their way with this offensive line. That poor quarterback doesn't have a chance. Every time he drops back to throw, he's getting ear hole. You better make some adjustments up front to give your poor quarterback a chance. Caught behind the line, it's Williams. Breaks loose at the 45. Breaks free down the left side. End zone ahead. Touchdown, Clemson. No chance to catch it. That's another passing strike from his quarterback. He is having himself a tremendous ball game. Boy, this guy just can't miss. Every single time he throws, it seems like he's coming up with another touchdown. The receivers are running good routes. He has enough time to throw. But, man, this poor defense, they might want to think about changing up coverage because right now it is not working. Try to add the lead down with the 
penalty. The extra point makes it a four-point game. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. He's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Bulldogs' offense is back out on the field. The last possession ended in a dreaded red zone interception. Let's see if they can bounce back from that costly error. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. The offense is clicking, and the defense just searching for answers now. On first and ten, look at the throw. Caught over the middle. It's Robinson. Oh, and it's a fumble! Offense with a crucial fumble recovery. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. That's a bullet, but it's incomplete. So now from the 27, the offense faces a third and short. How aggressive will they play it? They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Using a strong stiff arm. It's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Georgia setting up with a first and ten now. There's the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. A sophomore with a strong tackle there. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. On third down, he drops to throw. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. Chris, it's a great play by the receiver coming up with this touchdown. Let's go back to the beginning of this play. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He got the ball out of his hands quickly to get that receiver the football to give him a chance to put the touchdown on the board. Now the all-important extra point. The PAT puts him up three. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, the Clemson offense has back out on the field. Remember, last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here? Or the defense come up with a stop? Quick throw to the left. Here's a wide open receiver complete. Tackle made after a big game. And the Tiger tussled to the line to run that hurry up. This is why this Clemson offense is so tough to defend. You get caught up in the running game, the threat of the quarterback as a potential run threat. You leave yourself one on one, and then you can make these throws downfield to dynamic playmakers on the perimeter. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. They've won it four times already on the verge of a fifth. They can't convert this third down. Looking downfield, it's Klubnik. Throws it to the right. And he's got it. Brought down at the 40. That'll be a first down. This comes an offense moving quickly down the field. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. Pass complete. It's second down now. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. Looking to pass here on second down. Caught in the backfield. It's Maffa. Football comes out. The ball carrier lands on it and gains enough for a first down. So after taking a closer look, the officials are going to overturn that previous ruling on the field. 
On the run, it's Maffa. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Clemson now operating in the red zone. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. And that run produces a decent game. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. And he drops back in the gun. It's a quick grab. Defense able to bring him down to wrap up the third quarter of play. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. Sitting in pretty good position as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's check out the game stats so far. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? They're going to throw for it on third and short. Caught near the sticks. It's Williams. Touchdown, Tigers. And they'll claim the fourth quarter lead. Try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT up and good. The lead is four here in the final four. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Passing game was so effective in the last position. Right down for a touchdown. We we'll see if the defense can make adjustments. Moves the ball out across the 30, and it's good for a first down. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Grab behind the line. It's Bell. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Offense getting set. It's second down. Well, any time an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit is swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. That deep shot is caught for a big game. And he breaks loose down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And they take the lead in the fourth quarter. Well, this is why they love this guy so much, is when it's crunch time, he makes plays like this. What I love is the quarterback knows all you got to do is get the ball in his hands, and he can do the rest of the work and get it all the way to the end zone. Great play. Now the important PAT to make it a three-point lead. And the kick is good. A three-point game now in the fourth quarter. It's all up to the defense. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the return an opportunity to bring this back. Return starts from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the powerful comes in offense is back out there. The shotgun running play call. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. After the first down loss, it's second and long from the 17. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Scanning the field. It's Klubnik. Catch hauled in here over the middle. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Brown down the middle. It's Brown. They stop him at the 49, but that'll be a first down. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. We kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Caught over the middle. It's Brown. Oh, and he fumbles. The defense recovers, trying to run this back now. 
Boy, the defense showing their team speed on that play, flying around that receiver. He made the catch, but he didn't do a good job of securing the football, and the ball comes out. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. Grab behind the line, it's Humphreys. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Georgia has moved into the red zone. Little eye candy here from the offense, some pre-snap motion. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. That's a really nice job of bouncing back by this defense after giving up that big gain. This time they get the pressure and bring that quarterback down. That sack sets up a second down and long. Looking to pass, it's Beck. Looking right, this one caught. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yardage yet. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Chris, let's tip our cap to this quarterback. He has gotten hit. That's the fourth sack already in this football game. Now, he's thrown for a lot of yards, so it's been one of those cases where either our band is playing or your band is playing. One way or another, you're getting a lot of fireworks in this game. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. And he's got it from 47 yards away, showing off the deep range. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And here's the return from inside the five. Bulldozing his way past tacklers. And the return are brought down by the coverage team. Okay, the Cubs offense heads back out onto the field. The last possession, they coughed it up, but it only cost them a field goal. First play of the drive, he looks left for a completion. Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. Second down, we're going to throw it. Caught near the sticks. It's Brown. Moves the ball out across the 30. That's good for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Play action here on first down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Clemson getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Boy, really nice throw here to the slot receiver. And I love the quickness that he has after the catch. He's essentially a running back playing at that slot position. That's how dangerous he is after he makes a catch. Quick throw to the left side. Makes the catch downfield. Tackled immediately, but it's a big chunk play. Aimed to the 35-yard line. That last catch, Kirk, puts him over 150 receiving yards in the game. Let's start checking the record books. This guy's making a, a push. Yeah, it really doesn't matter what the defensive coordinator calls, whether they play man, whether they play zone. The quarterback's been able to find this guy all day long for such a huge day. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. Makes the grab on the move. Brought down at the five after the completion. Defense getting pushed back. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Here we go, third down, close to the goal line. They can still get a first down without scoring. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. The sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. If I'm on this offensive line, man, I do not want to see the game for This has been a tough game. 
for the big boys. It appears almost like they've just been moonwalking the entire game, and they've been pushed all around. That's six sacks surrendered already in this game. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. And he knocks it right through the uprights. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Last possession produced a field goal. Let's see what they can come up with this time. And they'll keep it on the ground, trying to run some clock. Game moves the ball out past the 25-yard line. Second down here. Time for perhaps just one more play before the two-minute warning. We head now to the two-minute warning as this offense tries to bleed out the clock and secure this win. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Looks like Georgia will have the first down. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. And the running back takes the handoff. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Touchdown, dogs! This offense really clicking. Well, that's why you practice right there, Chris. This offense had the pressure, the game on their back. They deliver, they get a touchdown, and now make this a two-possession game with under two to go, like their odds of closing this game out. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. Extra point, up and good. A double-digit lead now here in the fourth quarter. Here's the kickoff team now, set to put this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. Difficult to win games kicking field goals. To cut into this lead, they got to find the end zone. Final minutes here, they'll throw it deep downfield. Can he take it all the way? And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And with the game in hand, the offense just takes a knee. So a good W here. Their season is up and running. The goal was to be 1-0. But also, Kirk, we got a chance to see what this team is capable of when they play their best. I completely agree with you, Chris. I was definitely impressed with this performance. We'll just have to see how far this team can really go. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler. And this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.